All right, YouTube, what is going on? It's the Outback Guru back on the Man 15 Ultimate Team. Final season of Mutt Head to Head Seasons coming at you right here. This is week one. You see, I am on defense first with the Ravens uniforms. My opponent has the all 49ers theme going on. Has RG3 and Todd Gurley, the former University of Georgia, running back. So he comes out, dipping and dunking so far. He's going to scramble off to the right with RG3. Hits, looks like Sharp, Sterling Sharp right there. So he goes, play action. We get to him, and Khalil Mack, team of the week, gets the interception. And he's going to take it all the way to the house. He's going to showboat into the end zone as we're now up 7-0. What a way to start off this final season. So here we go. Back out on defense again. Play action again. My opponent goes. As Von Miller gets to the quarterback. Forcing incompletion. We're going to fast forward to third and ten. He's looking like he's running no play action in the round. One of the favorite plays ran in the Mutt community. But we stop him. As he gives us the ball, as you see, we try to get the running game going there with Jamal Charles. Strong power, no gain. We go go up the middle that time. Get three or four yards this time. Play action. Look at Sammy Watkins go up in traffic around all those red jerseys. Get their uh, reception to extend the drive. First and ten. Steve Young looks as he gets pressure from both sides. Williams and Watt converge on RG. Not RG3. <clears throat> Thinking about his quarterback, Steve Young, as they get the sack. So here we go. Third and 10. Going for the deep ball. Looking for Megatron, who makes the nice one handed snag to keep this drive alive. We got to punch it in this time. Here we go. Dump down Jamal Charles, but he is leveled by looks like Von Miller. So that forces us to go third and four. Try to catch him off guard with a screen. Try to cut it to the outside. But great pursuit by my uh, my opponent. As you see, I go ahead and settle for my points as I take the 10-point lead. We are in the second quarter. Same look for my opponent. As this time, he doesn't go play action in the round. That is the Super Bowl. Bobby Wagner gets the pick six as we're now up 17-0 as this game is quickly getting out of hand. Following possession, Eric Berry, the team MVP version. He's going to do his best six pick six impersonation of Bobby Wagner. And just like that, we're now up 24 nothing. My opponent clearly is flustered. Look at RG3. He is flustered. Can't complete a pass right now. So it's 24 nothing. Second and 10 in this, on, uh, in, on the 20-yard line in the second quarter. He cuts it to the outside. He hits his tight end. Looks like sharp again. Two plays later, we got second and ten. My opponent loves to scramble to the right as Pat Pete almost picks him off. So he is now threatening. It is first and ten again. My opponent scrambles. Good containment on the receivers, but he bounces to the outside for a gain of eight. So now we got third and two. Is he going to go play action in the round again? No. This time he pounds it with Gurley who punches his in. Cuts the lead down. So now the score is 24-7. Looks like I had Watkins, but looks like C.J. Mosley steps right in front of Sammy Watkins. Gets the pick and looks like he is breathing life into his team with that pick. Now he's trying something different. Scrambling to the left, hits his tight end, Kellen Winslow, who signals the first down. So I'm having a hard time stopping this play action in the round. Been a minute since I've been on the mutt. Second and three. Von Miller breaks loose, gets his first sack of the game as he celebrates the sack. My opponent trickles the time all the way down to four seconds, takes his points, 24 to 10. He's going to back off all his, his people, thinking I'm going to pass it, but I go run. Look at Jamal Charles, gets room, double juke, he spins, can he go? But Troy Palomalu makes the touchdown saving tackle to end the half. We go back to Charles to begin the second half of play. Still up by 14. 
for a loss of one on that carry by Jamal Charles. We got second and 11. Sends a blitz right up the middle as Don Terry Poe gets free. And that sack would lead to a three and out as I punt the ball back to my opponent. Can he get something going? Can he get back into this game? This time he hits. Well, not too sure who that is. Looks like Antonio Brown. He's got a lot of number 84s at receiver. As you see, we almost come away with the pick, so that forces third and seven. As Antonio Cromartie decks him. Looks like more of a collision more than a hit, but he converts to first nonetheless. As you see, Von Miller giving chase to RG3 right there, and Clay Matthews bringing the play to a quick end. So, second and nine, my opponent is in my territory. And Ha Ha Clint Dix come out of nowhere. Didn't think he was being aware on that play, but I quickly took control of him to get the pick. So now it is 24-10 still in his territory, trying to get away from that goal post. Ryan Matthews gets a nice little game right there. And here's Sammy Watkins climbing the ladder in traffic again. Seems to be Steve Young's third down security blanket whenever he needs a go-to catch on first down. This time we're testing the deep ball. Going to team of the year, Jordy Nelson. But we take a visit to Revis Island as Revis comes down with the pick. So can my opponent take advantage? This time we over pursued the uh, angle route out of the backfield. We had it played well, but we over pursued. So time is running down in this fourth quarter. He's running no huddle. As Darrell Revis sniffs out the quick curl. Can he take it to the house? Has one man to beat. But RG3 makes a nice open field tackle. And my opponent pauses the game. And it looks like he's going to quit. It took a little longer, but I can still get somebody to quit, it looks like, as he does. So this is the um, opener of the final season that I did promise you guys. So I'm going to try to get a game out every day at least. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try my best. So. Keep a lookout in your sub box. This is the Outback Guru signing out. Have a great Sunday evening. Peace.